After Namibia attained independence on the 21st of March, the year of the Lord 1990, Kenya dispatched a military contingent to the new republic to offer support to the Namibian military. Kenya Air Force pilot Captain John Goge Kahuhia is now retired, was part of that team. Nisi Mano had a sit down with the retired pilot and brings us his story on this week's episode of Military Tales. John Gogi Kahuhia discovered his God-given talent early in life. I was very good at drawing and I was employed by a company called Archers Associates and they sponsored me to go and do a diploma in uh, Kenya Polytechnic. But although life handed Kahuhia a golden opportunity, he did not finish the course. Something just told me, no, I want to do something else. One day, he saw an advert in the newspaper calling for applications from those wishing to join the military as cadet pilots. And I remember I was living in Umoja. So on Outer Ring Road, I've got my pack going to college. And then I see this army truck. I just stopped them. And they stopped and I hopped on board. And that was it. I never went back home actually. He was recruited to the Kenya Air Force in August of 1981 and straight away sent to Lanet for training. We did the uh, basic military training, the shooting, basic craft. You know, they tell you all that you have learned in school, put in a kit bag. We are going to teach you new things. <laughs> Kahuhia returned to his Lee Air Base shortly after and was inducted to the Air Force early 1982. We were leave, we recalled back. The same day, got a passport, got air ticket, got uh, was it vaccination, and then by evening, we were on a plane leaving for UK. This was to be the first in a series of training programs yet to come for Kahuhia. And by morning in UK, my first time on a plane, it was very, very exciting. Kahuhia had arrived to the Scotland's Britain Air University for training that would take one and a half years. It was a bit exciting, you know, flying around Britain. And uh, eventually we came out with a diploma in military flying and also UK civil uh, pilot license. Upon his return to Kenya in the April of 1983, Kahuhia was posted back to Moi Air Base Sicily in various squadrons. Some of us were posted to Laikipia Air Base and uh, personally I was taken to air transport, so I trained on that. Kahuhia was then chosen to go to Namibia in 1990 to support, secure and train the Namibian forces. When we landed in Namibia, the guys who received us, they were coming inside the aircraft to check for who were the pilots and they were still looking, waiting for Mzungu pilots. So as guys, our job was to support them if they are moving from any airport or any station or town to town. Although the war had ended in Namibia, there was need for a smooth transition from the Dutch to a fully African state. Our main mission was also to try and you know, bring those officers up so that they, they can also know they, are, yeah, they can do it. Because they were so used to the white man doing everything. The Namibians needed empowerment, even in the freedom of their independence. For the officers in Namibia, the black officers, to take over the positions of the Mzungus who are there. It was in Namibia that Kahuhia got a taste of the painful sting of segregation and racism. So we would go to some of those towns or their messes, so they would want to go and serve the white man first. So we tell them, no. You come here first. You, those guys will wait. This is a new government. This is uh, Namibia, new. Kahuhia returned to Kenya and to the squadron. He rose through the ranks to become a flight commander trainer, training even VIP pilots. Although Captain John Gugi Kahihia's career as a pilot began by chance, it is something he has been intentional about from his 12 and a half years in the military to 28 years and counting outside of the military, serving as a pilot and as a trainer pilot. Reporting from Kiserian in Kajiado County, Amnesty Emano.